guys in this film both play antagonists uh, <laughs> to Scott. Really, how hard is it to beat up Michael Cera? The easiest thing in the world. He's he's a really mean guy. Michael Cera's got um, just really aggressive. He's really built. Uh, you can't really see it, but he's actually majorly jacked. Yeah. Um, and he's got a lot of chips on his shoulder. So, uh, you know, the first time I met him, we got into a huge fight. So we just sort of sustained him through the entire production. That's good. You used it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, in all honesty, he's like a really sweet guy and one of the nicest people in Hollywood that I've met. Uh, so it is kind of challenging to get up the anger to, you know, want to want to destroy him. But um, you he know, looks, you just—he looks fragile. He might be fragile, but uh, both emotionally and physically. Uh, Steel. Emotion, he's powerful. He's, Steel. He's, he's emotionally powerful, I think. Um, so anyway, it's just you know a matter of getting true to Matthew Tell and Todd Ingram to really you know. Well, find, also, the, also, find the fire to make it not be Michael Cera, but Scott Pilgrim and hate Scott Pilgrim. Also, we come in with such like vitriol and anger, and I feel like Scott Pilgrim is often quite like chilled in the movie, and that, yeah. at least in the moment of the scene, is like, man, I am furious. Can yeah. I get something here? And I was like, whoa, what's going on? What's happening? So I think that that was it. Was, it was easy to build the rage on that. Yeah, it's like get yourself together. Yeah. You're filming a movie. <laughs> You play a pretty uh, sinister vegan mm -hmm. in this film. Uh, were you worried about criticism you might get from your portrayal of vegans? Oh, that like all vegans are fascists, are, are, are mean and evil. Um, it's true. No, it's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, not really. It's a it, look. It's a big. It's a big, uh, huge, over the top uh, uh, character. Uh, which I was very happy to play and, and excited to play, and, and I do eat some vegan food, so um, you know that maybe that balances it out a, a, a little bit there. You just put like meat on top of it. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> uh, but no, sometimes I you know I just have I'll have an all you know uh, vegan just to just to mix it up a little bit. You know, body needs uh, change. Yeah, I've gotten some some cl complaints from uh, pirate advocacy groups about my portrayal of an evil pirate, so. No, maybe that can, maybe that can well, they're a very them. powerful lobbying yeah. community. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Some... Off the coast of Somalia, especially. <laughs> but, uh... you know. Now it's gotten real. Now it's gotten real. We're talking <laughs> politics here. So, what do you guys think about? <laughs> what about those sanctions? Yeah. <laughs> um, and you get to do a little sort of Bollywood number. Yeah, yeah, a little like Michael Jackson does Bollywood number. Uh, that was really exciting. Working with Dan the Automator, who um, was, wrote the music, was amazing. We recorded the song in Studio Two of Capitol Records, which is where Frank Sinatra recorded all of his hits and all that. So it may not be quite on that level, but at least that was a, yeah. that was that was a little inspiration. It's um, half step below. Just just a step.